Before we go to Cody Teal, let's check in with Keith. Well, it's Cody Teal's first time matching up with Freckles Brown, but he told me it was back when he watched Sacramento from home because he was sidelined that he saw Silvano be a 90 on him. He said ever since then, he's remembered this bull and wanted the chance at him. He said as soon as he saw him in the draft, he was excited to finally get that opportunity, guys. In terms of that score, that was the last time the bull was ridden. We saw Freckles Brown at Iron Cowboy, Rubens Barbosa unable to handle him, but goes back to that theme, Mac, I know you often mention in terms of Cody Teal. He can handle anything. Yeah, he really can. This is a guy that, that can ride bulls that go either direction. It just so happens Freckles Brown's more than likely going to go to the right. That's when we've seen the big numbers with Silvano. Kind of a big, wild, long jump, and then is going to go to the right. And Till just can't get too far to lean back before the bull gets to the spin. If he gets around the corner in good shape, I think he rides him no problem. I just did a double take when I looked at my notes. Cody Teal's number 32 in the world. I mean, he's a guy that's fighting for one of the spots on tour. Slam dunk. Cody Teal can make it look oh so easy. Are the judges going to reward him for that? Because Teal is triumphant. He wanted a chance against Freckles Brown, and he makes the most of it. We're going to have a new number one, 90 and a quarter. And this was a guy that was 32nd in the world yeah. standings because he Great no point. longer is it. I'll tell you, this is, this is what Teal's capable of, man. And, you don't make that big a deal about Cody Till. You just expect it out of him. He just quietly goes about his business and makes really, really good bull rides. That 90 and a quarter has put the pressure on the last two guys. But Cody Teal, he just wants to do his job. He has done it. Now he gets to wait and find out. So Stetson Lawrence. With his second pick, being a left-handed rider, Mac, you said this was going to be the bull he was going to go with. Yeah, and, you know, this is the one short he wanted for his pick of the pin, and for good reason. Biker Bob, you know, we got to see Rising Sun with Silvano and how good he was. Biker Bob, for me, falls into that category, especially if you're a left-handed guy. This bull's just going to kick and spin a lot of rounds, though. What... Feels like 15 seconds on this bull is only going to be eight because he makes so many rounds. He's going to get around there so many times. You have got to ride for a long whistle. Stetson Lawrence's best result this season, a sixth in Little Rock about a month ago. He's already placed better than that, but this is the icing on the cake. Is it possibly a second career win? Biker Bob patiently